Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everybody. I'm Jamie Vision, and welcome back to a brand new video where today I react to another one of the entries in this year's Eurovision Song Contest. It's getting a bit samey saying that now, isn't it? But hey, I'm still saying it. This time we head to the land of basically quite a bit of chocolate. Not Switzerland, but Belgium. Uh, but then again, I love chocolate a lot, so Belgium is always a lovely place in my heart. Not that I've ever been to Belgium, but you get the idea. Anyways, it's once again time for another one of them uh, acts which should have scheduled today to represent a particular country last year, but couldn't because of you know what. And uh, this year it is the turn of Hooverphonic for Belgium, and their song this year is called The Wrong Place. And of course, Hooverphonic uh, themselves, well, they've had a bit of a change in lineup twice. First of all, uh, their younger girl who represented them last year well, with the band, well unfortunately she got uh, moved over uh, for someone who was originally part of their band um, for kind of many years ago apparently. And it's a, an elder girl but I can't remember their name I'm afraid, so uh, there you go. And also the guitarist, I think, who said a particular statement in regards to the 1997 winning song, well he got canned as well, so... <laughs> I'm not going to get into all of that, but uh, save that for another video. Anyways, I'm here to react to the new song called The Wrong Place by Hoover Phonic representing Belgium. So let's get on with it, shall we? Ooh, interesting start. Sort of straight to the beat, I think. Already a forgetful kind of situation going on here with the lyrics. Well, I recognise what she's saying, virtually. Oh, two pre-choruses, I think. Was it just one chorus? Build up, so this is definitely a chorus coming up. Interesting the fact that it's kept with the same beat throughout it. Mind you, they were kind of like that with last year's entry, weren't they? Kept with the same beat. Ooh, it's not really going anywhere, is it? Other than the beat I like and her vocals. Sorry, I just want to go to sleep with this one. <laughs> 12 seconds later. Oh, I'm sorry, but all that at the moment, I just. I don't even have any other words for it other than it is such a sleepy bass song, it is ridiculously sleepy. Tries to tries to build up a little bit. Wait, wait, hang on. Oh, lovely, we're nearly done already. That's not bad. That little um head graphic there, but then again it's only a music video, it's not it's not part of the live performance. Oh it went on a uh on a like an off note rather than a, a main note. Okay, um, yeah. Oh, holy <laughs> crap. Oh dear. I mean, like, was it trying to go somewhere? Because for me, it's just like, it landed like, it was like trying to go on, onto a runway and like, it was landing too smooth. Oh, I, I, honestly, I just I just felt sleepy after that. It almost made me want to go to sleep. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. But yeah, I don't I don't think Belgium are gonna uh, honestly do well with this one. It keeps with the same beat as it did throughout. At least with last year's one, uh, they introduced certain instruments. It was like trying to build it up a little bit with the crescendo at the end, albeit it was the same lyrics at the end. With this one, they just keep with the same B uh, and no, like, absolutely anything fancy. Which I guess is not a bad thing. You need to keep it certain... You need to keep certain simplicity at the end of the day. And it's... It, it would work for some songs, but for this, it's just like... Uh, I almost feel zombie-ish with it. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, other than that main criticism, she obviously has a nice voice I guess which, you know I didn't hear much um because with recordings you've also got to hear as to how um because don't forget with uh, with music producing they have certain software whereby they can change the pitch of the vocals if necessary in order to make sure it's pop perfectly in time uh for the rest of the recording and I can't hear much change if I'm honest with you um but then again you know, it's only a pretty early recording. I don't know what it's going to be like uh, actually on the night. One can only imagine how the performance is going to be on the night. Uh, it's like... 
you, you can literally run your imagination wild in regards to how they're going to perform this on the night with the staging, with the lighting and everything else. If they get it right, they could squeeze through. But other than that, with this song at the moment, ugh, Belgium just, just, just rethink a few things, if I'm honest with you. Maybe reinvent it? I don't know. Speaking of re-editing, I've just heard that Israel are going to be re-editing theirs or revamp theirs or whatever, so... Yeah. I'm going to have to react to Israel again at some point. Anyways, never mind about what I think about Belgium. Please do let me know what you think. If you think this is actually good, then please do let me know and I'll have a, obviously re-listen to it a few more times. Uh, oh, of course, uh, I should have said disclaimer at the start. I had heard it once or twice before with this one. But yeah, for me, it just didn't really go anywhere. But it is what it is. Never mind what I think. Please do let me know what you think, for goodness sake. Let me know in the comments below. For goodness sake, start talking. Get those keyboard, keyboards, keyboards out at the ready. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do click here. For another one of my videos, click here. Um, and if you have subscribed, then please do ring the bell to get notified about my latest videos. So thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Toodaloo! You're in the wrong place.